we're going to check out Molo Plaza. Melanie is on a quest for Shomai. It's actually a pretty easy quest. There's GT Mall across the street, Molo Plaza and all the lights are behind us. They close off this section of street for all these food carts, which is kind of cool. I found popcorn, and if I can get a bag of popcorn for 10 cents, I'm happy. She's getting shomai and I think buko juice. No, thank you. The buko juice is a bit sweet for me. It's made out of the coconut with sweetened condensed milk and lots of sugar. And it's just a bit more than I can handle. It's nice. I'll take a sip of it, but I don't want a whole bag. Most of these vendors have about the same foods. I've shown the street food here before. I enjoy the street food here. I just wasn't in the mood for it tonight. So she's getting her show my, and all I got was a bag of popcorn. I have other plans elsewhere. But the food is fun. I enjoy a lot of this. Oh, there were some kids singing Christmas carols and we gave them money. They ran straight over here for pancakes. These are some weird pancakes, but I was more impressed with that rotating grill he has. That's pretty cool. Uh, they're very bland. They put this real nasty stuff that they call margarine and sugar. They're very popular and quite frankly, I can't even choke one down. I think they're terrible, but the people here love them. So, I'm not the target demographic. A wonderful thank you to whoever has bought my book. And to anyone who hasn't bought it, it's still available. Makes a great stocking stuffer. I guess. Across the street from the plaza is a small market. Molo Plaza has a very small market. I think because we're right here in the city, you just don't need a big neighborhood market and there's just not that much call for it. So we don't come here very often, but she just needed to get some rice. You can see this is pretty much the whole market. It's here at the basketball court, which is under some major renovations. Not sure what they're doing here. They've ripped out the bleachers. I suppose they're getting new bleachers. But she just needed to pick up a couple gundung of rice. A gundung is a unit of measure, not weight. It's approximately two and a half kilos, but not exactly. I wanted to come here at Molo Mansion. They have some food vendors. We were waiting for the lights to come on and just happened to be there when the lights came on and then turned into Molo Mansion. The food vendors remind me of like some of the food trucks in the US. It's some small places. It allows people to get a restaurant open without a major investment and you get some pretty good food at some of them. It's, it's a step above the regular street food but it's not like full-on restaurant. And I enjoy a lot of these when I find them. And there's quite a few of these popping up during the pandemic. The one we went to is actually a food truck. There's very few of those here. That is a brat and french fry shop. Generally what they call a bratwurst here is just a bad hot dog. This place actually has decent brat. I was, I was shocked. I was happily surprised. And for less than $3, I got a brat, fries, and Coke. I mean, it was actually, it was a very good dinner. I was happy with it. There's various places. There's Japanese food, Chinese food, coffee shops, a lot of different stuff. There's a burger and pizza place I thought about, but I'm glad I walked down and ended up at the Brats. The burger and pizzas look interesting, though. And this entire place is one restaurant. It is a buffet. And never been to that because it is your standard Filipino food, which I enjoy. But when we go out, I want to try something different. Melanie was having a lot of fun here lately. 
and is saying how we really need to get out at night and explore more. And since the city is opening back up, the restrictions are lessening, we are able to get out and explore, and we're having a lot more fun. So she's really enjoying it and opening up to new places to eat. On the way home, we see even the hospitals getting into the Christmas lights. Enjoy your day in paradise. Thank you.